Well, we've got a bit of an interesting video today, posing a sort of question. And uh, that question is, is Pop! OS the best Linux distribution ever out there right now on the market of uh, Linux distributions, uh, particularly for new users? And I think the answer to that question is yes, Pop! OS may well be one of the best Linux distributions for new users and really for anyone, to be quite honest. Well, anyone that wants something that just works. Uh, more tech-savvy users are probably going to want an ARP-based distribution, but uh, that's kind of, you know, uh, neither here nor there. But um, Pop! OS I like, largely ignored for like the longest time, and I've just decided to install it now to give it a go and sort of see what happens, and I've got to say I'm absolutely blown away. This isn't really a review of the distribution per se. I might make one of those at some point. But uh, this is just to say, wow, this is a fantastically well thought out distribution. Now, first thing to say about Pop! OS is it kind of um, really does break one of the biggest problems out there with several Linux distributions. Uh, that there's no sort of hardware that it comes pre-installed on. Pop! OS gets around this because it's made by System76, who sell hardware with Pop! OS installed. So if you're, you know, an average user who has no idea how to install a Linux distribution, get yourself a System76 machine and you get Pop! OS right out of the gate, which is fantastic. Um, the other thing is it's very easy to get set up, just go through the installer and, you know, there's no messing around or anything like that. But more than that, if you know someone who is tech savvy and knows how to use Linux and what have you, well, you can have them do the first part of the installer for you, then it will reboot and it will let you put your information in afterwards, which is unlike any Linux distribution. That means you can just throw Pop! OS on a computer and give it to someone, and they can put in their own information. Fantastic. And then, you know, once you start to get into your Pop! OS, as you can see, it's, you know, far and away one of the best Linux desktop experiences out there for, like, people who want something simple that just works. You know, it's not bloated, as you can see. You get everything you could possibly need out of the box, well categorized, which is very nice. Um, you know, simple screen recorder I did install myself to record this, but other than that, what you see is what you get. It's very nicely themed out of the box, as you can see. Got a nice um, selection of backgrounds. You know, you can set up your tiling window management features up here. You know, it's all very appealing to new users. Um, so you can get going right out of the box. And uh, then there's this, the Pop! OS Store. Now this is by far one of the best sort of software experiences I've ever had. You know, kind of, well, software management experiences anyway. Um, for one, it's very easy to use, but we'll get onto that in a second. But for two, the Pop! OS repositories have a lot of software in there, and it's fantastic to see. So, for example, if we can see here, Spotify on the main page, that's not uh, a flat pack. Well, it's not by default, which Pop! OS does support flat packs, which is nice. No, that is a dev. That's all native. You know, you've got your Steam installer, your Telegram. Let's say we want to install, for example, uh, Discord, which I don't think is in the default Ubuntu repositories, but someone might uh, prove me wrong there. There it is. You can just go ahead and install it right out. Let's say we want uh, Spotify. There it is. Ooh. Spotify right there. Say we want Lollipop. There it is. You know, it's a fantastically easy to use little program. Say you're a new user and you don't know what apps you're looking for. Well, look at all these popular apps that are laid out on the home screen. This is stuff that people would actually want to use. Um, you know, all of it's laid out nicely, simply. So the, you know, default package management experience is very easy to use and fantastic for, uh, you know, sort of your new users. But then, let's say that you want something that, you know, isn't easily installable. Well, System76 offers by far one of the best websites for a Linux distribution I have ever seen. It's very easy to get it downloaded, in fact you can even download it with NVIDIA drivers by default so you don't need to faff around with that if you're a gamer, which as you just saw a second ago, the Pop Shop has Lutris on the home screen, so if you're a gamer, System76 and Pop! OS have got everything really well set up for you out of the box. But if we go down, we can see it will tell you exactly what you need to get what job done. 
So, for example, you know, there'll be a lot of people in these fields, you know, looking into using System76 hardware. Well, there it is. And one of the sort of things I see people uh, complaining about a lot when they want to move to Linux is media production. And if we go down here, well, here's a list of things you can use to produce media, and a lot of it is already in the pop shop, as you see. However, let's say we need something like uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is something that I've always seen to be a bit of a pain to get going on, you know, sort of certain Linux distributions. Well, there it is. You've got a comprehensive way to get it installed. No uh, messing around, no faffing, and as you can see, it's very up to date, which is fantastic. So, you know, it won't be out of date by the time you try to do it. So, you know, all in all, I'm going to say that uh, Pop! OS is a very nice Linux distribution, not just because it in itself is nice, but also because the kind of experience after you've installed it and, you know, the information that's out there available for it is also very nice. Of course, since it's based on Ubuntu, pretty much everything you want, want to work is going to work. So, I mean, all in all, this is a very nice Linux distribution. If you're coming over from, you know, Windows, Mac OS, you want to put Linux on someone else's computer, well, this is definitely the one to install. I'm very impressed with what System76 have done here. And for sure, I'm going to be doing a full review at some point, but... That's kind of it for my uh, quick rambly video talking about how good Pop! OS is. If you haven't already, give it a look. And I uh, hope you sort of enjoyed this video and it wasn't too strange or rambly. If you enjoyed, please consider checking out my channel on LBRY or Library, um, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, that really helps the show out. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.